Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Karen Rice. Uh, as promised, a lot of you have been asking me to paint some more abstract paintings using the palette knife. There's going to be lots of spraying and tilting. So get your old tea towels out or kitchen towel and you have to be mopping up all the spraying and all that. But it's, it's very creative. So I hope you're going to enjoy this journey of abstract art. Shall we get on with it? So here are all my lovely materials and a list of these will be put in the description box below. And if you've got any questions about them, please don't hesitate to ask me. So my first thing to do is I'm gonna be wetting my paper with a large brush, big puddles of water, and then using the palette knife with freshly squeezed paint on and putting it on this wet surface with all the sort of uneven puddles. I'm using a Prussian blue. I've just added some quinacridone gold to that to make a sort of greenish color. And I'm sort of heading towards hills and mountains, etc. I've got no reference photo here. I'm doing this completely from my imagination. The paper I'm using here is a knot surface paper. It's Windsor & Newton Artist Watercolour and I've used framing tape around the edges so it gives me a lovely crisp white border when I take the tape off. Now I'm painting in an abstract style and that means not trying to accurately represent what's in front of me and I can take that to any stage so it can become almost like you don't know what you're seeing, it's just colours and shapes, etc. But when I paint an abstract style, I want some sort of resemblance to nature. I, you can sort of see these mountains and everything, but I'm not copying anything. So I hope that makes some sort of sense. As you can see here now, I'm tilting my board, I'm letting the paint run down, I'm letting things happen. See if there's any exciting things that can happen here. The colours are beautiful here as well, those lovely cool blues and I'm using quinacridone rust and some sepia here and a bit of paint's great and I'm just putting in some darks at the top of the mountains. It's semi-wet, semi-dry because some of the paper has dried in areas and I'm just going with it. You know, there's no plan here except the technique of using a palette knife on paper that's wet in some areas. So I'm going to be using my spritzer bottle now and I'm just spraying some of this paint that's semi-dried and just to kind of get things moving again. I'm still using my palette knife. I just want to create texture in these mountains and just getting the paint flowing. Now this can be a tricky thing to do because you are literally, I mean you can use a photograph if you want to, something with mountains or anything you like really. But sometimes it, it does free you up a little bit more when you're just painting from your imagination because that way you've got nothing to judge you. You know, you're just doing what you instinctively want to do. But if you feel that you can't do that, then by all means use a photograph. So I'm going to use a little cut up piece of plastic card, it can be a banker's card or a store card, it doesn't matter. And I'm just lifting off some of this damp paint just to create some more texture. It allows to get a little bit more light as well and just getting some different sort of marks. Now I tend to sometimes overdo this and I'm watching this video back and I think almost I did overdo it a little bit. And I think knowing that, that's why I started to spray. And I'm just sort of spraying the edges here because the paint's not quite dry, so it just moves automatically. And it just, look at that, it's lovely the way that just runs down, beautiful, the way the colours are mixing in as well, wet in wet. Remember, this is a very messy business, so I have usually have a damp J cloth or kitchen towel or an old rag 
on standby to wipe up all the mess. I'm using a large brush here just to pull down some of this colour just to get it moving and doing the same in the above sky area let's say and now I'm going to paint in a sky. I'm using some uh, the brush Prussian blue colour with some ultramarine. I'm darkening it up with a bit of Payne's grey. What you can do is you can just do a little bit of tilting, taking your time. I love this technique because sometimes I'll just tilt for ages and just see what happens because the paint looks beautiful on the paper. It creates lovely textures as you can see at the top there. And the other thing is just tilt in another direction because exciting things happen when you do tilting because you're not touching the paper and you're letting the watercolour create its own magic. So where it's a little bit dry there, I'm just spraying it with a spritzer bottle. I always tend to get right up close with a spritzer bottle. Don't go too far back because you tend to spray the whole picture. So I'll just concentrate it on one area and just mop that up again. So I'm just finishing off with the plastic card now, doing a final few little bits of detail. I mean, sometimes I actually need someone to come along and take that card off me. So I'm doing a little bit of spraying because the paint ran into that area where there's a lovely bit of light. So I'm spraying out now to get that light back. So just finishing off, can you see how that light, that's beautiful, I've just sprayed all that paint away and it's given me some lovely light. And there we are, there's my finished painting. I'm definitely gonna leave it there now. So I'm going to put a mount around it now just because I think it really finishes off the painting well and gives you in a very objective way of looking at your work to see if you need to do any more. And as you can see there, I turned it upside down because actually, because it's quite abstract, this picture, you could actually show it either way. So I hope you enjoyed that demonstration. I loved all the spraying. I do think there was a couple of points in the painting where I really had it, but I thought I'll just take it a bit further. I mean, we're all guilty of that. Here is the picture all dried off. The magical thing about this painting is you can have it either way. I mean, you decide which one you like. I can't decide at the moment. But what I love is this way, the light in the water is beautiful and it creates lovely misty mountains. So I quite like that. I love that element. I love all the spraying. I love this light here. Oh, I just love it. And if I turn it up the other way, I've got more light in my sky now, more softness in the water. Just a palette knife and a plastic card, a spray bottle, some a few paints. I mean, it's just, it is magical. I hope you enjoyed this journey with me. And if you've got any questions, as I say, put them in the comments section below. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll get updates of my latest videos. Thanks again for watching. Happy painting. Bye for now.